4 to 8.5 feet of snow jumpstart Lake Tahoe's winter season just before the holidays. Just last week, the mountains of the Sierra Nevada were bare and brown. Leaves were long gone. We were in a holding pattern, just waiting and waiting for water to fall from the sky. A surprise storm in October blessedly drenched the Sierra Nevada, but after that, almost six weeks passed with hardly any precipitation. Today, the scenery looks entirely different. The Sierra Nevada mountains are painted white. Roads are like tunnels between tall snowbanks. Tree boughs are heavy with snow. And the mountains are donning a white coat, winter's finest. Lake Tahoe received somewhere between 4 and 8.5 feet of snow in five days, according to Brian Allegretto, who forecasts and tracks snowfall in the Lake Tahoe region for open snow. On Thursday morning, snowflakes continued to fall lightly, a quiet cap to a fierce storm that jump-started winter from hardly a pulse to fully alive. This kind of a storm, because of the timing in relation to the holiday season, how quickly it came and how much snow it delivered, is the epitome of what locals in Tahoe call white gold. It's a storm that will revive not only California's water supply, but also the economy up here. In the winter of 2018-2019, the ski resorts represented by Ski California, an industry lobbying and trade group that includes both California resorts and those that surround the Lake Tahoe Basin in Nevada, generated some $3.2 billion in economic output, according to a report released last year by the trade group for tourism-centric businesses in Lake Tahoe. The two weeks of Christmas and New Year's are likely the busiest time of the year. It's a 10-day sprint that most businesses rely on to carry them through the rest of the winter, until summer picks up a busy, steady pace again. Having enough snow to lure skiers and snowboarders to Tahoe is an economic boom that cannot be underestimated. And tourism is still the lifeblood of Lake Tahoe's economy even though research shows the critical need to diversify so that businesses are not so reliant on factors beyond their control, like winter storms or a pandemic. In this storm, Mount Rose saw the most snowfall, by far, according to Allegretto's data.